what I'm uh, a song coming from the 70s there, Rolling Stones tune, Angie. Uh, it's not my favourite Rolling Stones song, but you did it very well, I want to point out. Uh, you Better Move On uh, came off an EP, I remember, in the 60s. Oh, God, You Better Move On. Do, do you know that song? No. Um, I, th I think if I played it to you, you'd go, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I know that. Could, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. it's one of those... Oh, God, there's so many, aren't there? You've got, got us in a Rolling Stones frame of mind now, but uh, I mustn't linger on that. Because yeah. they've gone sort of quite country in many ways. Uh, Mick's done a few country Well, they've tunes. evolved. Uh, uh, you know, uh, watch it. I, I got a, a DVD for Christmas of this uh, of concert footage of them, like the Bigger Bang tour, and it's fantastic. Mm. I mean, it, and, uh, again... you still got that. Oh, mm. they've, they've, got, they've got the oomph big style, oh, yeah. as I was saying, you know. No, and, no. Uh, and I'll tell you the weird thing about it is as well, is that I played the, I played the, the DVD to somebody and they were saying to me, Wild Horses. I didn't know the Rolling Stones done Wild Horses. I didn't know the Rolling Stones had done this and I didn't know the Rolling Stones had... They didn't realise how, that all them songs that they'd heard were actually the Rolling Stones. And I, maybe it's because I'm a musician or whatever that I you know, know a lot about, quite a, a bit about music. But I was really surprised to know that people didn't know that Rolling Stones had done these they, certain they, songs, you know, and you'd, yeah. you'd, you'd think that, that everybody would know that. No, they've just done so many, you, you kind of forget. It's only when you're watching them perform, like in, in that Shine the Light film. Have you, have you seen that? No, yet? not yet, no. It, it is a good film. I'm sure it is. Yeah, Jag is absolutely yeah. fantastic, you know, the movement there. And, you know, he's, um, I, I think certain movements he's doing, they're actually yoga positions, which is very clever if you think about it. And I've often thought, how does he do that? Because he runs across the stage, and he's up and down, he's here, there, and he's everywhere, and you're thinking, my God, this is, guy's really got energy, he and he has. Energy, yeah. But if you watch the Shine the Light film, because a friend of mine, she pointed it out to me, she said, now that movement is a yoga position, so he's actually getting his breath back yeah. as he's in that position to go again. Yeah. So it's all very well thought out. You look quite good doing that then, right? You got it, you've I been practicing, like, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I feel like the Stones, I think they're amazing. So do I. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, in fact, Bob Harris, bless him, he but, said in his book, he said, I've never met a bigger Rolling Stones fan than Mike Quinn. Oh, really? The yeah. long mate. Oh, because right. we did share a house together for some time, and I was... In, in fact, we, were, we went along and interviewed Mick together, it was great. I mean, I hadn't been at the station long, and uh, that bonded us because yeah. uh, that made my day. Oh, good, yeah. yeah, I was buzzing, and I remember he was like, "No, wait, hurry up!" It was like you two today. I went, "Have you got your guitars? Have you got your ple plectrums?" And I'm, I'm going, "Come on, Bob, let's get down there." I'm thinking, yeah. "You yeah. can't well, be late for someone like it, right? Mick Jagger, yeah. you know." Yeah. But it, it all worked out very well.